Dear students, today we are going to continue with the same chapter non-competitive market. So, let us begin with the first topic of the day relationship between TR and AR. The word TR stand for total revenue, the AR stand for average revenue. You can see in the curve that TR increases initially, then it reaches to its maximum and finally decline. AR average revenue which is also known as price, it keeps on declining, but it never reaches to 0. Further, the relationship between TR and MR, the word TR stand for total revenue and MR marginal revenue. TR increases initially, it reaches to maximum and finally decline, it always remain positive but marginal revenue keeps on declining when TR is maximum, MR becomes 0 and when TR begin to decline, MR become negative. Now, the different approaches of producer equilibrium, the first one is TRTC approach. TR stand for total revenue and TC stand for total cost. I will explain about the profit with the help of TR and TC curve. Profit is a difference between total revenue and total cost. You can see that from point O origin to point Q2, there is a loss because total cost is greater than total revenue. It means firm is incurring more cost in production of output than it is gaining from sale of that output. But from point Q2 to point Q3, there is profit because TR exceeds TC. It means the firm is earning more by selling a commodity than the cost that is incurring in the production of that commodity. At point Q0, profit is maximum as the gap between TR and TC is maximum. This situation is called producer equilibrium. It is difference between TR and TC is maximum, producer attains maximum profit over there and try to be at that point of time which is called producer equilibrium. After point Q3, profit decline as TC becomes greater than TR. It means in production of further commodity, the cost incurred by the firm is more than the profit that it earns by selling that commodity. The next approach is MRMC approach of profit maximization. The word MR stand for marginal revenue and MC stand for marginal curve. I will explain about profit with the help of MRMC curve. We can see that both AR and MR are downward sloping. The point where MR intersects MC and after that MC is rising, profit become maximum. It is represented by area under the curve between point O and point Q0. The next non-competitive market is monopolistic competition. First of all, I will explain the definition of monopolistic competition and after that I will also tell you about the different features of monopolistic competition. So, what is monopolistic competition? It is a type of imperfect competition such that there are many producers producing against each other, but selling products that are differentiated from one another and hence are not perfect substitute to one another. The various features are large number of sellers. It means there are variety of firms offering similar product in the market. The second is product differentiation. It means products are not fully identical, but they differ in their features. Example is there Coke, Pepsi, Thumbs Up. The products are somehow identical with each other, but the taste is slightly different. The next feature is freedom of entry and exit. Any firm 
can enter into the market till the firms continue to earn profit and can leave the market when it start incurring loss because there is no barrier in the market. The another feature is lack of perfect knowledge. As there are so many firms in the market offering similar product, so the different firms does not have the perfect knowledge about the competitor. The another feature is non-price competition. It means products are competing with each other, but not for price, but for features. The word is called USP, unique selling preposition. It means firm highlighting its particular feature to sell the product in the market and by doing so, the firm increases the market share. The last feature is demand curvage elastic. Elastic means with change in price, the quantity demanded also changes. For an example, if the price of coke rises, the consumer will automatically shift to the nearest substitute either to Pepsi or thumbs up because he does not find any difference between the taste of coke, Pepsi and thumbs up. The last form of non-competitive market is oligopoly. First of all, I will explain about the definition of oligopoly and after that also tell you about the various features of oligopoly. What is oligopoly? A market situation in which there are few firms selling homogeneous or differentiated product. The word homogeneous means identical. The product are similar to one another and the differentiated means the product are not identical. I will give you an example. In a petrol pump, there are different types of petrol sold in the pump. That different types of petrol, speed, 2T mix is an example of differentiated and different petrol pumps all are selling petrol like Indian oil, Hindustan Petroleum, Bharat Petroleum, that is the example of homogeneous. The various features are few firms. In such type of market, there are only few firms and these firms are forming cartel. Cartel means group of firm having common interest. So, they highly interdepend on each other. The next feature is barriers to entry and exit. As these firms form a cartel, so it is very difficult for a new firm to enter into the market because they are raising their barriers so high that it become quite difficult for a new firm to enter into the market. The next is non-price competition. As they form cartel, so price are in close range. So they compete with each other with feature but not for price. The last feature is indeterminate demand curve. It is so because of dual nature of the product. The product is homogeneous as well as differentiated. With this, we have come to the end of the session. Thank you.